guys what's up it's me Lyra and welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'll show you guys how i take effective and aesthetic notes on microsoft word disclaimer some of these steps are explained in detail in the how i take my notes video so please go check it out to know the full reasons for the following steps let's get started Number one, choose a font you want to use. I don't like the fonts already downloaded on Microsoft Word, so I go to thefont.com. Link for the website will be provided in the description box below, alongside with the names of the fonts I use. Some of the fonts I like to use for the titles are, sorry for any mispronunciation because I am not the best person to pronounce words. Titles, Darloon, Sunbury, Autumn in November, Baxo Sapi, Magical Feather, Handa, DK Lemon Yellow Sun, Chicken Pie, and Cute Notes. And for the handwriting part of the notes, I used Beckham Perry, Futura, KD Primary Italics, and Learning Curve. Uh, to search it up, just type the name in the search engine and click enter and you'll find the font you need there. Number two, change the layout to two columns to give a neater and coherent look. For this, just go to layout, click on columns and press two. Number three, write the date and day. Next, I write my title. It has to be bold and eye-catching with a different color. The basic colors Microsoft Word provides aren't really up to my likings, so I usually search up color palettes on Google and save the ones I like. Change the basic palette on Microsoft Word for it. To change the color palette on Microsoft Word, I go to Design, Color, and then choose a color palette I like. I write my learning objective for the lesson. I do this to give myself a clear idea of what I'm aiming for in the lesson. Make a color for keywords. I outline the box as well to give it importance and change the subtitle to a different color just to show its significance. I usually use arrows when taking handwritten note as a symbol for examples, but for type notes, I use a star symbol. For equal to signs or whenever I need to use arrows, I like to use this symbol. Number 9. I also underline to highlight the most important text. Instead of timelines, I use diagrams from the internet that you can find in seconds, which save you a lot of time and effort. And before I know, I'm done! I really hope you guys liked today's video. Make sure if you did, subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!